I'm going to put out there that I think brand strategy is more important than actually what you're selling. Hi, my name is Bic Walker. Welcome back to my channel. My aim here is to mentor creators and makers to get their hobby to becoming a business that makes them an income. I have got Serena O'Brien here from Speak Out Studio with me and she's a branding expert. Well, I yes. try, I try my best. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, let's talk branding. Let's. Yes. It's my favourite topic. Fantastic. One off. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in business for almost a decade now and it's taken me quite a while to work out my brand strategy. And in retrospect, it would have been so much easier and quicker if I had sat down at the beginning to work out what my business is all about so that I then can have a fundamental idea on what I'm working towards. For me, because I fell into my business by accident, I kind of chopped and changed and experiment with things to work out what my branding is, and it's taken me years to do that. Brand, in terms of brand strategy, is really overlooked, particularly mm. when we're starting out our business mm. because we just want to do all the things. Yes. You know, how do we start a business? We open up an Instagram page and we, That's right. we start posting yeah, to yeah. it, um, we start making yeah. products. I've worked with startups where um, they'll have an idea of their brand at the start of the day, mm. and at the end of the day, we've completely, completely reframed different. their brand, yeah. but they're really clear on it. Yes. So I think um, where my brand strategies differ from common brand strategies is that I don't focus on ideal clients. Mm. Um, you'll often see in Facebook groups people saying, um, you know, what does my logo look like? Yeah. Who does this attract? Yeah. And people are always banging on about ideal clients. Yeah, yeah. I actually start at a brand's purpose and values. Mm. So working out values, working out their purpose, having a real clear yeah. mission and then a vision statement for yeah. the future and how they want to build that brand, mm. um, it then helps people get really clear on their messages. Mm. And then rather than focusing on ideal clients where we're going out and trying to draw get, those people yeah, in, yeah, yeah. we're putting our messages out there and attracting the right people. A lot of the times you attract the person that is similar to you because that's what you know. Mm. For example, with this channel, I'm attracting people who have got creative businesses like myself and who struggles with the same problems. There's often a bit of a rumbling with creatives like yeah. you and the people that you work with that what they're doing is so much more than what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, like what are your prints actually mean when we yeah. talk about mm -hmm. your creative mm -hmm. work and your mm -hmm. and sketch work? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, that yeah. You're not just creating prints. No. You're doing so much more. No, and that's exactly. really like covering yeah. that. that greater purpose. Yeah. And what's going on in your life as well is reflected in your business mm -hmm. somehow. Well, I do a lot of Melbourne stuff because I love Melbourne and that's part of me. And I do a lot of kids team sports because I've got two teenagers who play a, a variety of sports and you know, you go, I need a, a card or a print for a coach. And so you draw all that life experiences back into your business. And then you attract like-minded people. Yeah. You often hear the phrase people do business with people that they know like and trust the aim is to do business with uh, people who believe what you believe mm. so it's just that next yes. step down to really uncovering what your messages are and yeah. what your purpose and values are and then attracting the right people because that's where the joy is yeah that's where the joy oh, is yeah. working with those people absolutely so i find that shop owners who actually like me and my work and my values, I find that they sell my product a lot more effectively because they believe in what I do. So therefore they can sell the why in what I do. They can sell me without me being there because you can't be everywhere. When you're wholesaling, you are not, you're not the direct contact with your consumer. When I talk about purpose, my brand's purpose is to genuinely support women in business. Mm. It actually doesn't even have the word brand in it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, but I, that purpose manifests in so many different ways, in mm. the way that I support women in business to build their brands through yep. strategy, mm. but also in terms of paying women, hiring women, um, not speaking for free at events, and, mm. and all of those things, mm. it really manifests in different ways. So if yep. you can get that purpose clear, mm. um, you'll find that your brand just expands. Yeah, sure. So if you are enjoying this video, and if you're finding it helpful, could you please hit that subscribe button down the bottom, also that notification button so that you can get notified when I post a new video. By doing that, it would help reach more makers and creators that need to be inspired. When you're working through digging, mm. asking questions, 
understanding a person's business before you can help them. What are some of the most difficult questions that, that you find other people struggling to answer? People struggle to answer because of their own barriers that they put on themselves. Yeah. So we were talking before about um, limiting self-beliefs, self-sabotage, mm. things like that. When you're trying to really get down to the crux of why people are doing what they do, yeah. um, there's so many barriers that stop them from really stepping out yeah. and being like proud and open about their brand mm. and their clear messaging. Um, so that is absolutely the struggle, particularly because I work mainly with women and I mm. feel like that is a real struggle for yes. most women is to overcome those stories that we tell ourselves and um, and work on that yeah but part of my brand strategy is, is working through that it's a bit of some gentle nudging yeah and um, we can usually get to the point of it for someone like me for example i'm jumping from ranges to ranges and styles styles and sometimes it is generally hard because you don't know you know because you want to try out new things yeah you have to try out different things before you find what sticks or what what flows in your business right yeah yeah I mean do you find that you ask people okay tell me you know tell me what your business is about and you get sort of roundabout answers the reason why I always focus on purpose and values is the purpose is your driver and the values is your measuring stick so mm. when you're wanting to go out and try new things mm. um, you know that gut feeling mm. where whether yes I want to jump in and do yeah, this yeah, yeah. or no, I don't think I will. That yeah. gut feeling is your values. Yeah, true. So if you can really um, clarify those things, yeah. um, it's yeah. much easier to make those decisions yeah. and to be purposeful about where you direct your energy in business mm, as mm, well mm. Um, and your brand and what messages you want to put out yeah. there. You know, um, it, Even down to social media posts or collaborations yeah. and who you want to work with, yeah. it's really quite easy yeah. to make those decisions. Yeah. You're, mm. you're wasting a lot less time when yeah. you're focused and clear on that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Without sounding woo, yeah. Yeah. Once you start really trusting yourself and yeah. doing that and maybe taking a few leaps and, you know, testing those yeah. fear boundaries, yeah. things will start snowballing. Yeah. It's kind of like a goosebump moment when yeah. you're in business and True. things just start working out that's and right. flowing. Yes. And I honestly believe yeah. that's from being really clear on your purpose and values. Yeah. And then things snowball from there. The importance of having clarity on your brand is that it helps you promote your brand it helps you build content for your social media marketing and even to develop your products and even to a point to work out you know how your office looks or how colors and what kind of uniform you wear for your business a brand strategy is just really a document that sets out your goals for your business right. and how you're going to use that mm. brand how you're going to build that brand to reach those goals yeah that's yeah. basically what it is, yeah. right? Brand strategy is your foundation level for mm. your brand. Mm. So you can do a, a business coaching and work out your services and mm. all of those sorts mm. of things. Your brand will work out the look and feel yep. of your brand, how other mm. people will feel about it, what messages you want to get out there, what are your core messages, what do you care about, yeah, sure. what do you want to talk about, mm. um, how do you want people to feel yeah. about your brand. Yeah. That's what a brand strategy yeah. is. That's actually just the most foundation level right. once you have that clear yeah. mm -hmm. then you can go and brief a copywriter yeah or a photographer, a photographer or a graphics artist often the problem is um people straight away go and invest in instagram courses yeah. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, uh, right. photographers or yeah. go and get a website mm. what's the point of doing an instagram course when you don't know what you want to say how exactly. are you going to um, create a shot list for your yeah. um, photo shoot when yeah. you don't know what content you want to be creating for yeah. those photos how do you work out a brand strategy. Yes, yeah, so um, I do it in a couple of ways. I do workshops. I try to be accessible at different levels. We mm. do. I do a one-on-one -on -one session. I do mm. it in a full day. It's yeah, full on. Right. And then group workshops as well. So really small, sort of around yeah. six people, mm. um, which keeps the cost down, but yeah. it makes it more accessible. Yeah. Sometimes you know you have to relook at your brand multiple times down the track because your life change, your experiences change, and you know you might find things that appeal more to you and you can relate to. It's, yeah. It pays to revisit them every twelve months or so. Yeah, Whenever sure. you feel like a change, you yeah. kind of you know when it's it's yeah, time to reset. Of course, your if you're a couple of years into business, it, there's that feeling that there's something more. Like yeah. you're constantly chasing, you're constantly trying. Yeah, it's actually a really good sign that you mm. need to sit down and yeah. get clear on a few things. Yeah, um, when you're really clear on that, yeah, there's kind of a calm. Yeah, yeah, there's not that chase anymore. Yeah. What will be the top three questions for a new business or a small business? you would ask to help them identify their values. I actually do um, a card-based exercise. So yeah. I find if you just say to someone, what are your business values? They'll 
tell you three top words that are popular and yeah. everyone oh, are yeah, talking of about. Course, yes. My brand strategies are about creating unique brands, yes. not about creating brands that are copying other people yeah. or, mm. um, or I don't even want, you know, like words that I find like empathy, authenticity, mm. that have become really popular. Yeah. If it's I on, ask people on trend words, aren't what, they? what yeah. are your values? Mm. You can guarantee that everyone will say oh, authenticity. It's such a trendy word at the moment, but it's not a word to describe your business. You can't say my business is about authenticity. It's more like an, an action word. Like the way I market my business is authentic. You know, so it comes from the heart. It comes from the passion. It comes from you. You can't fake authenticity and you can't build a brand around authenticity. To work out um, purpose, questions are who are you? Yep. What do you do? Mm. How do you do it? Mm. Why do you, why do, you it? do it? Why do you do it? Exactly. And then going and, yeah. deeper and deeper yeah. and deeper through there. And the why is very important. You know, it people is. buy the why and not the what. And we've said that, I've said that so many times before in my videos. People buy the background story that connects you with it. So in my brand, it is about my art and what I paint are the things that happens in my life. Uh, for example, where I live, what keeps my sports play, what kids what sports my kids play what kind of humor that i attract people who buy my stuff relate to the stuff that i put out so mainly people who live in melbourne or have family that's moved overseas that used to live in melbourne people who have got kids that play the same sports that i draw in my marketing it's all about kids family sports and melbourne and I've started to include a lot of my face in the post because people want to know the artist behind the work. Storytelling yeah. can be really effective. Mm. I, I feel like the why got confused for a while there. Mm. People are like, why are you in business? If mm. I was to answer that mm. in a different way, it might be, I didn't want to go back to my corporate no, job. I want to make some kids. money. Exactly. Make some money. <laughs> that stuff doesn't sell. No, no, no it no. doesn't. Mm. Why am I in business? Why do I do brand strategy? Yep. Because I want to genuinely support women to build brands, mm. value themselves mm. and value others. Yeah. One of my favorite image is the skipping girl image because when we lived in the Fitzroy Flats, my parents used to work right underneath the skipping girl vinegar in the fire brigade building next door. And every time we drove past it, uh, when I was a little girl, I used to get so excited, especially when she lit it up and started skipping. And the people who buy that image are the people who've got some connection with it, whether it be nostalgia or whether they remember that certain part of time in Melbourne. Marketing is um, so important to it get and there's a real fear there. around it. Yeah. And you know, marketing is hard. If you don't know what your brand is. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know what to you're say about your brand. People. You're people. Yeah. You're know, jumping around here and there. If you're anything like me, who is a maker and artist, we are so into our work that it's hard for me to step back and see the overall picture. And that's why sometimes you need an outsider to step in and say, okay, let's just clear the canvas for a bit and go back to basics and let's define fine and make it clear what your brand is about and the brands who've got it right you can see so obviously what they're about like for example red bull so if you look in red bull's marketing and i'm just going to call up the instagram page here you'll see that it is about extreme sports it is about living life on the edge having fun and occasionally you'll see the red bull energy drink in the shot but rarely it's not selling the drink it is selling the lifestyle what are your messages? Mm. What do you want to tell people? Yeah. What do you want people to be attracted to? Why are people coming to you? With a really good starting point, yeah. then businesses can evolve really uh, organically. Yeah. It's human nature to go into a place and know what to expect. They feel uncomfortable with the element of surprise, or should I say, the element of shock you know surprise is sometimes good but the element of the unexpected is not and that's that's really about getting clear on your brand messages and when yeah. you're clear about that then there's consistent messaging across yeah. all communication platforms people will recognize your business from a distance or immediately and they will come back if, and they know to expect the same look and feel and customer service and products because it's not just social mm. it's um it's your website it's yes. your blog it's your emails it's when you're public speaking it's yeah. when mm. you're just talking at a networking event about what your business is yeah 
it's um, that consistency and clarity in your message. Yeah. If you're ever looking for a brand strategist, I'm going to put Serena's details down below so that you can look her up. If you want to have a look at an example of a business who have got their branding so right, please stay and watch this next video.